Welcome to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. On today's video, I will be reviewing the first ever Yema watch featured on this channel. Now the watch was sent in to me, of course, by Yema watches. I have in front of me the Yema Superman Maxi Dial Limited Edition. They have two sizes for this. This comes in a 39 millimeter and a 41 millimeter. The one I have is the 41 mil. And as I said, this is the first ever Yema watch on this channel. And you know, you guys probably know more about Yema than I do at this point. Um, I've never seen any of their watches in hand. The only thing I managed to find out in the short amount of time I did research the company is that they were established in 1948. And the first Superman was made in 1962 and it was actually made for professional divers. However, it was adopted by the French Air Force for their pilots. You know, I'm not going to go into too much history there and bore you guys. So if you want to know more about the company, please do check the website out. All information will be available there. So I managed to get to grips with this Yema Superman. This is also the first French professional diving watch that I've experienced. And price-wise, this sits on the high end of watches that I normally review. Typically, I review a lot of AliExpress watches, uh, you know, under the £500 mark, way under the £500 mark, and occasionally micro brands. Now, this watch has actually come in at US dollars which is just under £800 for us in the UK. Now, this watch isn't currently available to buy. It's only available on pre-order, but it will start being delivered around mid june 2022 so you haven't got long to wait for your delivery and it is actually limited edition limited to 500 pieces and the one i have in hand is actually zero out of 500 so let's have a look at the packaging i like to take a bit of an in-depth look at packaging on the first watch brand that i review so this is the cardboard box that the watch will come to you in um, nothing too fancy it is quite a solid uh, and robust cardboard box when we open it you'll find yourself a very nice leather perforated watch holder uh, which is a nice touch it's got the yema logo engraved on there uh, feels decent quality i do believe it is leather it feels like it and it smells like it i don't know anything after that might just be top grain um, but once you open it you'll find a very nice suede texture again with the yama branding present nice little cushion there as well nice suede texture but i don't think it is actual suede now once you remove that you'll find a yama manual with uh, a whole host of pictures and information about the watch also the website uh, you've got a couple of qr codes you can scan uh, and just basically telling you where to go and whatever information you need to know about the watch uh, so we can put that away and the last thing is a leather warranty card uh, so as soon as you get this hand so as soon as you get this in hand wow do you feel a little bit special um you've got some really nice texture to this i've never seen a, a leather warranty card but it's definitely a nice touch you've got some nice gold leaf um present on the top uh, international warranty i think you get two years warranty of this uh, but because it's a review model it's actually unsigned uh, as it is straight from yema so that's all good and well you know it does do the job um they have tried giving it some upmarket elements definitely um, but you know it is a 800 pound watch you know what i'll leave it up to you guys what you want in a box personally if you do buy this you're just going to put the watch box away um but i do understand it is nice to have something special to open so let's put that back and bring back the yema superman uh so let's start off with specs and dims as as per usual um so specs wise normal specifications in terms of the case construction 316 l stainless steel you do have a double dome box sapphire crystal you also got a full loomed maxi style dial um, applied with grade A super luminova. So I'll be interested in the loom shot to see how it looks. I bet it looks fantastic. Uh, you've got a stainless steel bezel inset with a 120 click unidirectional diving bezel with Yema's traditional bezel lock mechanism at the three o'clock. You've also got 300 meters of water resistance uh, aided by the screw down crown and the screw down case back. Now, in terms of dimensions, you do have a 41 millimeter case diameter. It does slightly increase to 41.5 if you bring in the bezel. Then you've got a case depth of 13.3 millimeters. You've got a 49 millimeter log to log. It's quite a long log to log. And you can see it's quite a flat case. So I really want to see how that weighs on my six and a half inch wrist. And then you've got 20 millimeters on the log width and a overall weight of 145 grams. So quite a lightweight watch considering some of these full stainless steel watches do sit next to 200 grams. So, so far in hand, you know, the feeling I get from this watch is that it is quite a purpose-built watch. Uh, it is fully brushed, as you can see. So it gives me a very retro tool watch vibe. And if you look at Yema watches across the board, most of them do have this retro vintage look to it giving you some nice vintage nostalgia when you do look at these watches and with this one what makes this one a little bit special is that this dial is fully loomed so let's zoom in on the dial let's have a look at the dial features a lot closer 
So you've got a crisp white fully loomed maxi dial. The dial is fully printed. You've got your logo below the 12 uh, with the text and Superman below that. And above the six, you've also got some text in red stating automatic full loom and the water resistance rating. You've also got a printed mini track which goes around the dial. And at five minute intervals, the markers are slightly thicker. In terms of the hour markers, as I said, all fully printed, but you've got contrasting solid circular hour markers in between the triangular indice and the oval baton indices in between. Now with this contrasting black and white combination, of course, that means one thing is awesome legibility. Uh, that watch is going to be visible no matter where you take it and if you actually do take this watch diving. Now that red text nicely matches that red on that shovel style second sand, which is iconic to Yema, as is that triangle on that mini hand you see that on most of the watches the hands have been ip coated giving you a very slight glossy finish uh, just incredible legibility as i said earlier and great proportions now that box style sapphire crystal gives you some nice distortion on the edges of that dial now let's go over to the loom shot let's see how good that loomed dial looks so that looks quite cool uh, and that is actually quite decent. I've had no direct UV exposure like I normally do with the torch and uh, just from the UV lights around the room and you can see that is a really nice BGW9 application. Now Yama stay on their website, they use Grade A Super Luminova uh, and yeah, great legibility on the loom as well as you'd expect with a fully loom dial. I think it is a really cool feature to have and it's a nice color. It does really complement the watch, slightly modernizes it. But in real life, away from the camera, it does have a bit more of a greenish hue to it. But due to the settings of the camera, you can see it that it is a lot bluer than it actually is. Now, when you look at the bezel, you'll find it does have a flat brushed stainless steel bezel insert with the black markers. I already showed you that pip at the 12 o'clock. And you've got a coin edge style bezel. And what's interesting is, as I said earlier, the whole watch is fully brushed. Every angle of this watch is brushed, which is very good to see as well. Again, coming back with that tool-like functional aesthetic. Uh, now, before we check the rotation, we need to unscrew this and take a look at this dive bezel locking mechanism. Now, Yema use this on a lot of their watches. I don't know how I particularly feel, um, but they've stated they've had great feedback from professional divers, as I suppose it does lock that bezel in and totally does not allow it to move. But let's go ahead and check the rotation out. Okay, yeah, it's quite difficult to turn and um, quite stiff. Alignment's okay. There's no play in the bezel. There's a touch. You can just feel a little click there. So just a slight gap there, which allows you to press it down. It doesn't feel great quality in hand, I must say. And the rotation doesn't also feel great quality. Quite a stiff and very clicky bezel. Um, I don't like these kind of bezels. I don't like how they sound. Um, you know, I don't know what feedback people have given to Yema if they have had any feedback and this this little contraption here uh, This mechanism. I don't like how loose that is. Uh, it's an 800 pound watch. I get it is functional And but I don't know. Maybe there must be a different way to do this, but you know, it seems quite loose flimsy um, But yeah, it just doesn't feel good. I must say so away from the bezel Let's take a look at the case and it does have a very distinct profile. I must say fully brushed all around there's not a single part i don't think which has been polished um you've got linear brushing present on the logs you've got a really nice end link finish slots into the case beautifully and looking at the side of the case very thin side profile linear brushing all the way across drill logs making the watch very practical and you've got these crown guards which kind of curve over the crown the crown is embossed with the yemo logo very nice grip on the crown. Now, while I've got the crown open, let me tell, talk to you about the movement. I didn't actually state what movement is in here. Now, Yema in around 2009 actually come up with their own uh, in-house calibers. And this is one of those calibers. This is the Yema 2000. And I tested this on the time grapher. It was running very consistent uh, while within those tolerances. I think it was around a second or three seconds a day zero beat error or 0.1 uh, and a really healthy amplitude so i mean the specs check out you know, i don't know how reliable they are it's my first experience with this kind of movement uh you do not have a ghost position or a date position so it's nice to see it's just a actual no date movement so the crown is machined really nicely does screw in perfectly fine once you engage it no issues right there Case back, uh, case back is engraved really nice. It's actually pressed. You've in the center, you'll find the Yema crest, 
which is nicely polished. I think that's the only bit of polishing present on the watch. The rest is just specifications, engraved. You've got a circular brushing design on the case back. And as you can see, that limited edition, zero out of 500. And so some French text made in France, specs, uh, you know, maxi dial, etc., etc. Uh, so let's flip this back over. Let's give you a breakdown of the bracelet. First and foremost, it is a vintage inspired bracelet. I really like these smaller links. Um, as you can see, it's already got a really good fit and finish into the case. Solid end links, all solid links, three link design, which are all held together by a pin and collar system, which is an absolute ache to do. As you can see, I've left some of the pins sticking out because I just couldn't bother pressing them in so hard. Um, moving over to the clasp, you've actually got a press clasp. Um, you've got to just pull it apart. And it is quite tough, I must say. You've got to really put some force to yank it open. I don't like that. But once you open it, you'll find milled internals. You've got the Yema text across there and, you know, some French there. And when it was founded in 1948, you've got the Yema logo just on the top of the clasp. Uh, it is a four micro adjust clasp. You've also got two at the front of the clasp. And the nice thing about this as well, it also comes with a functional diving extension, which you would expect uh, being a professional diving watch. So that's okay, all works well. And the finishing on the bracelet is nice. It is very fine brushing, no issues there. There's no edginess to the bracelet and there's no edginess to the whole case, in fact. Very nicely done and it's got really nice articulation uh, as well as a really nice tape eye. 20 mil at the log width, goes increases to 23 millimeters at the shoulders and then tapers down into about 16.2 millimeters. Uh, very nice small clasp as well. Uh, I think sometimes people kind of miss a trick uh, and they just try to spec out a watch uh, and you end up putting a massive clasp on which doesn't actually suit the rest of the watch. So let's get this bad boy on wrist and let me give you my final thoughts. So here we have the Yema Superman 41 millimeter on my six and a half inch wrist. And I have to say it doesn't fit well. Um, and I had a feeling when I looked at the log to log and due to those male end links on the watch, as you can see, it effectively brings that log to log up to around 58 or 59 millimeters, which for a six and a half inch wrist isn't good. Uh, and due to the case shape also, you can see a bit of a gap on either side. That case is quite flat, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, and it doesn't sit perfect or nice at all on wrist. Now, I don't know if that is just to do with the wrist size. Um, you know, if it's a six and a half inch wrist, maybe this is how it's supposed to fit, or maybe this watch is made to fit, uh, I don't know, dive suits or professional divers. I don't really know. But all I can tell you is definitely not a good fit on this wrist. So I wouldn't really recommend it for smaller wrists um, because, yeah, like I said, it's just, too flat it's too rigid uh you needed some more curvature there because i've got a gap there gap there and it, it just sits quite off on wrist i must say in terms of comfort the bracelet is very nice as you can see great articulation nice clasp you know it's not oversized um but yeah it's just that log to log is just too long i suppose i don't know what the log to log is on the 39 millimeters but i suspect it won't be a lot smaller um so that's something you've got to actually deal with so let's take this off the stainless steel bracelet let's see if it looks any better on a leather strap bracelet swapped out for a nice vintage style waxy leather strap straps are available on my ebay store if you are interested please check them out um so yeah it does suit the brand and i think with this watch will suit a whole host of straps out there rubber silicon leather whatever you wish let's see how it fits on wrist so on wrist with a leather strap uh it has kind of improved the fit because uh, obviously the end links are gone um, and the strap does kind of sit down a bit closer to the wrist but you know that flat case shape you really can't get away from it if you look at it from the side i can't kind of show you the angle but look how straight that sits it's just away from the wrist at this point uh, and you know comfort wise you want those lugs to kind of hug your wrists and as i said you know maybe it's not for a smaller wrist as it stands i'm not really okay with the way it fits um but you know it is still a well-made watch so on that note let's summarize so what are my good points and my negatives on this Yema Superman, the 41mm fully loomed maxi dial, uh, limited edition? So pros, the brand heritage, it is purpose built, very functional watch, uh, and that fully loomed dial, it is around function. Um, I do like that bezel lock feature. Uh, I find the bracelet very comfortable. And the weight, 150 gram, uh, is actually nice to see on a fully stainless steel uh, dive watch. In terms of cons, the bezel rotation just sucks. It's just too hard, too harsh. 
too clicky as well uh, it just needs more refinement for the 800 pound mark um the logged vlog is just way too long you definitely need female end links that dive lock thing while i do like the feature i like the idea i just find it a bit rattly and i think on that price point maybe it shouldn't be as rattly but that's just my opinion they've used that feature on just a lot of watches i think ever since they started so you know who am i to get them to change that i don't like the clasp uh, I think the clasp just requires too much force to pull. Maybe that will ease up, uh, but I think it should be a press clasp possibly. Uh, and I don't like the fit on wrist, but that is probably subjective to my wrist. Um, yeah, it's just not for small wrists. So that's all the pros and cons. The watch is around $900, 800 quid. Uh, if you want to check it out, please see the link within the description. It is limited edition and I believe they've got 30 left. So if you really do like this design, you want to get yourself one go ahead and please check it out. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.